Do I look in that bit or that bit? You look at the lens, um, you don't look at the screen, you look at the lens. Hi, welcome to the Telling World. In today's video, we're gonna be teaching the wife how to machine polish. So Jen's never used a polisher before. She's never even cleaned a car before. So yeah, we're just gonna cut straight to it. Uh, we've got the test panel all prepped and ready, and we're gonna be showing her how to machine polish and hopefully stop her clinging on to me like this uh, during lockdown. Uh, we've got the machines behind here ready. We'll quickly go through those and get Jen set up. So yeah, let's take a quick look. Can't wait. <laughs> Okay, so Jen's gonna be using the Shine Master 8mm throw DA polisher. Because it's the newest one, so I'm gonna let her use that one. See how she wants to get that set up. I'm gonna be going ahead and using the Megs G220, also a DA as well. So we're gonna be using the same machines to show her how to do this. I would show a rotary, but that might just be a bit too advanced. Uh, we're gonna go ahead with the 3M pads. So we're gonna start off with green cutting pads because it's VW paint work. I know it's quite hard. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna possibly look at using the 3M yellow pads as well. Uh, so first of all, we'll just get the machine set up and get it to some kind of standard Jenna's feel comfortable with. Right, so open up that bag. And in there, you should have a plate and a spanner. A plate look like that. That. Yep, so you just want to take this end Stop off there. Ah, oh, it'd be right. Take that off, and there should be a spanner in there. Doopy doopy doo, that's lost. Forever. And then. Does it matter? No, so now you want to attach the plate to your machine polisher. I'll show you how to, I'll show you on my first how we do it. So you want to put that on. It's a juggling act. Put your spanner in. Put your plate on. You can, or, or, hold it down. Don't forget I'm left-handed. Oh, man. So that's even more Right, so I'll do it left-handed. Put your, put your DA down. What's my DA? That, dual action polisher. Why don't you just She doesn't say, know the terms. Why don't you just say, um... Dual action machine polish, polisher. I couldn't think where it were then. Put it facing up like mine. Spanner onto the nut. So I'll spin that around. Span it onto that. And then get your plate. That doesn't feel like it. It's on, don't worry, get your plate. And then try and thread that in. Spin it clockwise. Yep. Feeling tight? Yeah, just and then tighten it up, tighten with, it the up with the spanner. So hold the hold yeah, the backing tight. plate. Are I you sure? Step ahead of you. I've done that. <laughs> She's done that. So next you want to take your pad. So that's yours. This one's mine. Nice big green one. <laughs> and then you want to attach that like to the plate. Then? Yes, it's velcroed. You have to get it on the... In the centre. So it should line up with the edge of the white bit. So the edge of that should line up with that. That's off. Like that? Yep, that's off. Do you mean it's off? It's not, so that's not up to the edge. I'm going to do it like this. Why don't you do it like that? Because if you do it that way, you're putting the pad on a dirty oh, yeah. surface. So you could do it like that on a I've towel. Got a professional expert showing me how to use it. This this is the hardest bit. This how do you get meant supposed to do this? Like that. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. So now we've got the machines ready. We're just going to move over to the uh, test bonnet and uh, yeah, see how much polish we can fly all over the garage. Right, so I can take this all off now. Right, so we've got the polishers ready. Um, got the 3M polish there, we've got a couple of cloths, so a cloth each. I'll put them to one side. Um, yeah, I've asked her if she wants the D handle. She don't want the D apparently. No. So, uh, so first of all then, just so you know what it feels like, turn it on. That's what she said. Turn the power on at the plug I'm first. I'm not gonna get thrown backwards, am I? No, let me turn the power on at the plug. That would help. Get ready. So your trigger's on the side. That one. Yep. So press it. See what it feels like. It's a bit frightening. Come on. <laughs> oh, do you have to keep it held? No, you have to keep it held. Oh, so you must be doing it. Let's have a look. 
So oh, you just click it. Power pushing your speed's on the bike. So start off on one, and there your speeds. We'll go through that in a moment. So, first, give you a bottle of shake. I'll do that for you. And then, oh, if I can pop the cap, I've already had it. Oh, it's all, oh, it's all coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's just disgusting. Oh man, that's so much polish everywhere now. That's too much. But anyway, so you want to put four P shape, P size uh, splodges of polish on Why, there. can I ask a question? Why what? Why do you not just put blah 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 and do it on you that? You can if you want, but it's just a bit more controlled. If you put it on that, four, four P size amounts. And then we'll spread it over that way. This way I've always done it. How big are your peas though? Are they like man Garden peas? No, or? garden peas. Oh. That's one. Three. That's two. Seven. <laughs> and four. Put that over here. So, next. You want a cable over your shoulder. Which shoulder though, if I'm left handed? Over your, probably your right shoulder. It's over my left and I'm right handed. But I sometimes use it left handed as well. I'm kind of ambidextrous, so. Right, dab it around first. Spread it. So you're going to pretty much do a lot of the area with this. this what are we doing with this cable on your shoulder? Is that optional? It's good practice so don't drag along the car's oh. paint weight. You can, well, don't, don't worry about it, right, that's fine. I'm going to be polishing one as long as I live. What do I do? We'll get there. What do I do? So right. dab it around. Just dab it all over. Don't whack it. If this were a Ferrari, you won't be whacking it. Well, there's a big splodge there, otherwise that's going to fly all over you. Right. Are so we make, do, Are we just doing a small area? So make sure you're on speed one. That's it, that's it. You're on speed one. It's on the, it's in the back. It's in a weird place, yours. It's yeah, on, it one. on one. Put your pad on the panel, wherever you want. I'll give you some space. Would you not start it? No, because then you'll fling polish everywhere. Oh, so, so it needs to be like that first? Yeah, then. flat. Have one hand at the front, probably your left hand at the front. Because the this hand is going to support the weight of the machine. I know, but I need to switch it on with my left hand. So why am I going to do We that? might swap machines in a moment. This could be a bad design on the Max Shine polisher. Uh, yeah, because Max Shine. <laughs> not catering for the lefties. Because the... The power switch is on the side rather than on the top like on the Megs, so I can just flick that. I can that. probably switch it on from underneath. Right, go. I'm not even showing what to do yet. So, spread that around, cross out, the overlapping motions, and then turn it up a couple of speeds on the back. That's it, only on to two or three, and then go across, overlapping straight motion. And then go up and down as well. Turn it off. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly do mine to get to the same state. How come your 
yours looks better than mine. Because I've done it more uniform than you have. Oh. So, put your polisher, your pash polisher here, let's get that out of the way. I probably had a bit more polish as well than you. And then just wipe the section clean that you've just done. And flip your cloth over to get a clean side to buff it after. So straight away, I'll have a look in a moment at the camera. Uh, we're actually getting rid of some of these swirls, or at least I have. Oh. And you've got rid of quite a few as well. So we'll just grab the camera in before we do, in fact, we'll do a panel wipe first. So, this is the bit uh, Jen doesn't like. She doesn't like the smell of this stuff. So yeah, we'll do this quickly. A couple of sprays of panel wipe, just to get any oils out. I know I'm using blue towel here, but it doesn't really matter. Not on this bonnet anyway. So here we've got Jen's half then. Here we just zoom in. That's some befores. And we go to where she's polished. Get the reflection of the thing out of the way. There's the after. So getting rid of a lot of the swirls there. That's after. And that's before. Not a bad uh, effort first go. We'll take this off in a moment and get a better before and after. And then we'll just go over to my side. Because why not? So on my side, again, there's the before. And there's some of the afters. So that's just one pass with the green polish and green pad on a DA. Normally I do use a rotary for this, but yeah, let's get back into this then. Right, so this time then we're just going to swap. I'll use this one and see how Jen gets on with the Megs. Um, just because of the trigger. It's on the top instead. So again, we'll just apply four dots to the, uh, to the pad. There we go. One, two, three. Four, are you doing yours? We've taped off the section as well, so we can just have a look at some of the before and afters as well. I that's even heavier, that one. Oh, so the Maguire's one, she's saying, is a heavier machine, which I'd probably not really noticed, uh, to be fair. Um, so I'll see how she gets on with that one. Sometimes that can be a good thing, it weighs itself down for you, you don't have to really apply too much pressure then. So just dab that all over in that section. You can go up to that crease, really, on the bonnet. Jobs are good, aren't Jobs are fish. Make sure you're down onto me on speed one on the back, so it's there on that one. Yeah, speed one, it's blank, it's been worn uh -huh. off. And then when you're ready, you just press that, put your pad flat. Do you want to watch me first, or are you going to go for it on your own? Just go for it. And then go across and go overlap. So, try it with your right hand at the front, stop the machine, hold it at the back, because that's the weighty part, and then put your right hand at the front, are you ready? Mm. Start up here, and now try it, is that easier? That? Try and go in straight lines and go right up to the tape, you can go over the tape. Watch me, you stop, stop that. So, hold the tape. And you shouldn't have to do too much. I feel more comfortable. Okay, do that, that whichever way is comfortable. Sometimes it's easier as well when it's going faster. So turn it up a couple of speeds on the back. You can do it while it's running with this out. Okay, with that on then. And again, you can hear it change. There we go. Grab it then. That's it. Keep it flat. Yep. And then do it up and down in overlapping now. And then side to side. Mm -hmm. 
and then up and down. And when you get to the end of this, turn the speed all the way down. You turn it all the way down. And then you want to like, lift it a little bit. No, keep it down, but take the weight off. So you just, you, you're just touching it slightly. And then go over it slightly, quite slow. And that's just to refine it. And then when you've done, stop. You just take the weight of the machine off. So wipe your section down, pass with the machine. So it should just come off. Whew. I'm actually surprised that we've got as much off, as many swirls out as we have. Let's have a look at yours. So there's some left down here where you've missed, but let's just, uh, I think the main part where you've been doing it, then you've got a lot of swirls out actually. Dang, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, that. So here we're on gen side. Uh, this is the before, obviously. We're going to the after. That's not bad. A uh, bit of hazing, so we're going to hit it with a yellow pad in a moment. Um, but yeah, so again, I can get focus and zoom in a touch. Doesn't want to focus for me today. There we go, so that's the before. Plenty of swirls beforehand. And then after, not as many swirls. There's a couple left. Um, and as I say, a little bit of hazing. But really, that's pretty spot on for someone who's done it for the first time. Like I say, a bit of hazing and buffer trails there. Just have a quick look at my side, just to give you a comparison. So here's my side. Uh, again, that's the before. Can focus that's the before and then the after not much hazing at all um, as I said, that's just more sort of like refining stage so now then time to crack on with the yellow pads so I'm just going to swap over to the yellow pads and refine this which machine do you want to use this one or that one um, I prefer that one actually but she just prefers the older one the older models there we go <laughs> even though I'm younger but hey ho 19 days. Oh, 19 days. 19 days. 19 days. So, so yes, we're now going to go on to the 3M yellow polish and yellow pad combos. That looks like the better condition pad. So I'll let you put that onto there. So what's the difference then between a, a yellow one and a green one? So this one, for a start, the shape on the 3M. So it's a flat pad. If you've not used 3M before, I'll put that down there. It's a flat pad on the green. And it's more of a waffle pad on the yellow, so, so there we go, you can see that there, and that's the green one without overexposing you. Uh, this is a slightly softer pad, so give that one a squeeze. That, that one's quite firm, mm. not, not the firmest of pads, but it's quite firm, and that one's quite soft. So this one will cut less than this, so this will take off a lot of the clear coat, or not a lot, but that'll take off more clear coat than what that one will. So that's what's got rid of most of the swirls. But if you can, I don't know if you could see, you've got a bit of hazing in there. This should kind of like start refining it. And then if we really wanted to, we could finish off with the blue pad and the blue polish, which is really the finishing touch to get a really, really shiny as you can, but it's just a scrap on it. So I'm not too bothered about that. So again, just apply this like you did last time. You can put that on the bonnet if you want, because it's clean, or you can do it that way. And then just give it a little spin, just see if it looks like it's spinning evenly. Is that alright? Let's have a look. A little bit off on that side. So let's bring it in a tad. That's spot on. So, you've got my finger there. <laughs> Again, we're just gonna give this bottle a shake. Shouldn't really be putting products or bottles on the bit you're polishing. Obviously, if it was a customer's car, you wouldn't. I'm struggling with one hand, so. And again, four pea size amounts, garden pea size peas, or maybe Skittles, they're a bit big. 
And then you do four. I'm just going to dab mine all over. And you can feel even when you spread it, it's a softer pad than the green one that we're using. So it's the same as before as also. Well. There we go. You've got a bit on the edge of the pad, just try and. There we go. Otherwise, I'll just shoot off and cover you. So get down here as well. Right, and don't be scared to go over the blue tape, that's what it's there for. Just to show some before and afters. So remember then, speed one, make sure you're on speed one first. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to go left and right, just spread it, or up and down, just one pass to spread it, and then go up to probably speed three or four. And then you want to go left to right, up and down, left to right, up and down. So you want to do four, set, four passes, that's one set. Well, I'm never going to remember that. Do you want me to go first? Can't I just do my own thing? <laughs> you can do your own thing if you like. You go for it. Takes me three hours to switch it on. Go. And then when you're ready, stop it down to the slowest speed and then just take the weight off of it. And when you get to the end, you can just lift it away and turn it off as well. So it's Jen done on her side. I'm just going to finish this one off. Off and wipe that down. Fold it into three or fold it into quarters, up to you, and then just wipe that off. You don't need to keep going backwards and forwards because you might just scratch the paint. Remember, this could be a Ferrari or a Lambo, so you know, be careful, yo. Boom! That's looking uh, rather good for a D8. What's a D8? Dual action polisher, what you've just been using. Have a quick look. Well, a DA to me is like a district attorney. <laughs> oh, man. So I don't understand all this. I'm scratching the paint while she's taking it off. Well, Careful. Good, bibi, good, bibi, good job bibi, it's not bibi. a Lambo, isn't it? It is. Let us know in the comments below if Jen should polish a Lambo. So again, we'll just dive in. This is the before side on Jen's section. And then after, as you can see, a lot of that hazing that was there for is gone. And so have a lot of the swirl marks, so, yeah. So I'm getting Not better. bad. Not bad. You are. So I'm getting better. Yes. So yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think to this work. Remember, this is a first time. She's never even washed a car, let alone try using a machine polisher. I think the only machine she's ever used is a vacuum mover. <laughs> I don't use them very often. And then we'll just jump over to my side. <laughs> So here we go, this is my side then, that's the before and then after and I'll tell you what, we'll compare mine against Jen's as well so let's just uh, move the camera over there So yeah, this is my section I'll go across and into Jen's section, to be fair 
that ain't too bad at all. Let's zoom in a touch. So yep, that's uh, so that's my section again. I'll move across. Then on to Jen's section. She probably could have gone right up to the tape here, but hey, we'll let her off. Um, but yeah, good luck there. Pretty much like the same as mine, I dare say. Again, mine. Big scratch there. But other than that, no swirls. Jen's. A couple. A couple of swirls. Not bad at all. So yeah, just take the tape off and have another quick look at the difference. Um, we'll get back to you in a moment at the end of the video, if you can hear me on this mic. We'll see if we can get the dog involved. See, in fact, we'll see if we can get Jeff to do some uh, machine polishing. Jeff, come here. Come here. He's not bothered. Doesn't this tape damage your car then? Yes, so when you're removing it, you have to remove it like I am, kind of like at a low angle and a bit slower than that. Um, but you rip it off, then there's a chance you can take paint off. Especially if it's had repair work or anything like that. Um, especially if it's a Lambo. Especially if it's a Lambo. There's Doggo. Yeah. Everyone likes to see Doggo. Hello! <laughs> right, we'll just have one more quick look and then we'll uh, get to the end of this video. So here we go then, this is where the tape was. So go this way and this is Jen's side and as you can see, a lot of those swirls have gone. There's some up here towards the edge where she didn't go up to the tape initially, but we'll ignore that. But all this area where she did focus on polishing, pretty spot on that. Um, again, that's the before, and then my section. Got a few marks left here and there towards the tape, um, but we we'll get back into the middle. Pretty decent overall, so winner. Your dog's eating something. Jeff. <laughs> okay, so now my dog's finished eating my garage. Um, we've yeah, we've done that now. So, what did you think to that? Um. I don't know, you do that for three hours. Three days, some people. It were a bit hard work, actually. Can you let go of me? <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. That's uh, teaching the wife how to um, use a DA. That's the dual action polisher, not a district attorney. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments below what other videos you think we should have uh, featuring in. What else should teach her to do, basically? As I said, she's never even washed a car before, so jumping straight into this is like... Yeah, literally like jumping in the deep end. Uh, I think maybe go on to Rotary next, I'm not sure. But yeah, leave a comment below what video we should uh, have a learning in next, really. Uh, let me just grab my dog, one second. So here's Doggo as well. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing as well. It does help us out. Also, feel free to follow us on Instagram at Detailing World Official. I'm on there as randomly set for the behind the scenes and also pictures of this guy. Support us on Patreon as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Do you think this will kickstart my modelling career? Don't know, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe Jeff's. Bye! Right, that's recording. Ha, ha, ha.